Welcome back to the Open Mic Broadcast Network. I got him, y'all. He's here. Class is in session. The guru is with us. Footballs are in the air. Coach Van Petaway. Coach, how you doing today, sir? I'm doing great. I'm just happy to be uh, above ground. And uh, I'm looking forward to this collegiate football season. Well, we got a heck of a start. Jackson State, at least for week zero, removed all doubts. And technically, although it was 37-7, they pitched a shutout, Coach. Um, defense looks strong. Offense still putting some pieces together. But an overall uh, a dynamic performance and a debut win, and I say a win with authority, by Coach T.C. Taylor. Right. I, I thought they played an outstanding game, and uh, I, I feel pretty good because that makes me, uh, so far I'm 1-0 on the season, and I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, the rest of the season with Jackson State because I was, you know, a lot of people felt like they had lost too much to include the head coach uh, to be, uh, to do anything this year. But I looked at the other intangibles, the, the mere fact that, those players that did not get that opportunity to transfer to Colorado, they they had something to prove or they got something to prove. Then, of course, uh, Coach Taylor, he wants to show everybody that he can put his own stamp on Jackson State. He he has the most invested in, in Jackson State because he played there. He, he, he's been a part of Jackson. So Jackson State runs through his blood. So that's part of the reason all those intangibles were – Part of the reason why I picked them to win the game, and uh, I was real proud of the, how they represented the SWAT. Yes, sir. Now, although I said they could end up 0-4 after four weeks, but I did say if they ever had a chance to win a game, it was going to be this first week yep, against yep. South Carolina State. And it didn't uh, help diminish their motivation by being called salt by Correct. some of the Bulldogs. So... Uh, as they say, you can be confident, but don't be so overconfident that you write a ticket that you're behind <laughs> can't cash. Right. <laughs> and so uh, it was. It was a great win, and it's one of those wins, coach, that uh, seem like at least in recent years, we Southwest Athletic Conference have no problem winning the MIAC Swag Challenge. But when it comes to that celebration bowl, is where we struggle. Correct, correct. So we've got to get that. That's the piece that we've got to correct. they got to yes, correct sir. that. Yep. That's okay. And, well, you know, and, and we got no more talking, no more, as my pop used to say, wolf tickets. It's time now to, to cash it all in and starts on Thursday. You got correct. UAPB taking on Tulsa. And, you know, on the surface, we know what this appears to be, but I am so enthused and energetic about uh, Alonzo Hampton and what he's bringing to the table, the enthusiasm that he is bringing to the table. I'm wishing him well, of course, until he pays my Panthers, but um, he, he's looking and winning the press conferences so far, Coach, uh, what has been your uh, viewpoint on Coach Hampton? Well, I was uh, thoroughly impressed with the young man's energy, uh, uh, his knowledge. Uh, when you look at his resume, he's been in some uh, great programs. And I think his thing is he has taken a little bit of uh, each place that he's been to come up with his own philosophy. And mm -hmm. I like the idea that, that he's going to play, they're going to spread things out. Um, they're going to move, make you defend the entire field. So I, I think if, if he can get his message over to his players, I think Arkansas Pine Bluff may have found them a diamond in the rough. So I'm looking forward to seeing if he can implement uh, the things that he wants to get done on the offensive and defensive end, if that will translate into his ball club. Uh, and it won't be judged by me from from this first game. Now, I, I'll be mm -hmm. looking, I'll be looking more at uh, the the weeks to come when he's playing against uh, a light program, uh, program. Right, that, uh, right, right, right. So I I really love his enthusiasm. 
And I think no he, doubt you, you correct that he has won the press conference. Yes, sir. Now we we know at least I know this, this letter grade that Jackson State got this past week, and we're still we're in that you know that early part of the session where yeah, if they show up for attendance, we're gonna give them a passing grade. So it, it's really gonna be an intriguing game. I know my Panthers are going up against Texas Southern. That's a historic rival, but. I got to admit, Coach, the game that I'm really going to be geared and focused on this weekend, other than my beloved Panthers, is Jackson State and FAMU. Right. And another, uh, yep, Sunday, Sunday. That's going to be a big game, big game. Right, right. And another intriguing matchup that I'm looking at is Alabama State and Sup. Not just kind of your Bulldogs, but those two matches, man, could show me something uh, here real early. And... I'm not going to sleep on all corn and seven miss. I know that's a tall order, but I've I'm, I'm got my eyes on those guys. I got my right. eyes and, on those guys. And traditionally, uh, they they play pretty well down at, at Southern Miss. You know, they've been playing that game for for quite some time, and uh, they normally do pretty good when when they go down there. So, and 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 uh, <laughs> I know Coach says that. Uh, the Braves are going to travel, so he's not worried about uh, being into in hostile territory because he knows that uh, the Alcorn Knights will follow that football team. And so he says it's just a, a, a jump, skip, and a hop away, and he's looking forward to having his people uh, in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So with all this uh, enthusiasm and optimism, coming out in the start of the season. What is going on in that other hill country up there, Coach, uh, uh, in Huntsville? How the atmosphere, I know, is on fire right now. Right. Everybody, every, all things are, are positive right now. Coach Maynard is going to wait before he named his starting quarterback. Uh, you know, he's got three people that are in the mix, and uh, it's going to come down to the wire. He did say that he probably won't make his decision until game day. And uh, I, I think uh, uh, he's looking forward to having a better season than he had last year. So the mm-hmm. Bulldogs are looking up, and I think on the defensive side, that if that defense can continue to play strong until the offense can catch up, I think they'll be okay. But they got a tall okay. order going to the SEC to against Vanderbilt this week. Uh, but we're looking forward to the game. I know – uh, the administration is looking forward to that game because that's payday for them. Yes, sir. Payday. And look, if I'm going to play an SEC team, give myself a fighting chance, bring on Vanderbilt. <laughs> right, right, right. But look, I, look I'm going to tell you this, Coach. I call hogwash on Coach Main and all these other coaches talking about we're going to make a game time decision yeah. on who the quarterback. They know who their quarterback he is going into their game. But them guys love protecting that depth chart. But I do understand it's part of the gamesmanship. But he know who his quarterback he is. Coach. Oh, yes. I, I think he does. I think he and the staff have already determined who, who's going to take that first now. Yes, sir. So um, you, you got your matchup, so you want to go through what you rolling out? Oh, yeah. And, I'm, and I'm I, ready. I'm ready. You know, um, I don't need to remind you, you know, who the defending champ is, right? Yeah, I think we already know that I'm the defending champ, so yeah, it's not a problem. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know, I know, I have a target on my back because you know, most of the time when you're when you're the champion, you know, everybody's shooting to get you uh, that next year. So I, I, I'm well aware of, of uh, my standing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then. So with that being said, sir. Uh, lay out the carpet, please, sir. Okay. <laughs> First up, on Thursday, August the 31st, Arkansas Pine Bluff will be headed out to Oklahoma to take on Tulsa. I think uh, I'm looking forward to uh, Coach ha- Coach's first game as a head coach, and I just want them to be respectable and get out of the game, like he said, without any injuries. But, uh, you know, my money on this game is going to have to go with Tulsa. Yes, sir. Well, we're, we're we're in agreement on that, sir. I don't think we got any uh, bones to pick on that one. Like you say, you want them to be competitive. You want them to come out healthy, and more importantly, you want to check the kid. There you go. There you go. Yes, and sir. Then, and then next up on Saturday, 
Uh, we got Mississippi Valley going up to Chicago to take on Central State. In this game, I'm going to go with uh, Mississippi Valley. I think uh, they will have enough horses to, to uh, get Central State on the road. Yes, sir. And they, uh, not only are they uh, taking on Central, they go on to play in Soldier Stadium, man. Yep, yep, and uh, it should be a very historic uh, uh, presence of, of, of the great one, Mr. Walter Payton. He's in that state of Mississippi, although we know he went to Jackson. So I'm uh, uh, with you on that one. That Valley will come out with the win. And let me say this, Coach. I think it's going to be a rather convincing win, so at least by two touchdowns. Right. I, I, I'll, I think the same thing. I think Valley should be a little too strong. And I was real pleased to, to hear that they are now being funded uh, at the match when it turn, comes to scholarships. So that, yes, sir. Now, Valley. And one thing we do know, and uh, they're no longer with the uh, institution, but uh, four keys, the former athletic director, was really pushing. That was uh, the agenda. And I had spoken to her off the record. You know, they, you know, sometimes they ask you in confidence to hold some things back. But that was the thing. They were getting the scholarships up, uh, had plans coming in for new turf. And, of course, um, the new athletic director, Mr. Uh, McClellan, is following suit, suit with uh, the plans that were laid out. And that's what it's all about, making it better for the next person that comes out so the whole program can move forward. Right. And I think I, don't, I think a lot of people don't understand this. The other big reason for them getting to their full complement of scholarships, they, they would not – it's a requirement that FBS schools uh, – I'm sorry, Power 5 schools, if they play a – FCS schools, they had to be fully funded in football. Right. So, so that's right. another piece. Uh, they want to make money. They got to spend some money by by funding, but giving them all the scholarships so they can play those guaranteed games. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. Next up, we got Grambling State stepping out of conference, going against Hampton up in New Jersey to be on the NFL Network. I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to stay with the Southwestern Athletic Conference. I'm going to go with Gremlin on this one. We're stride for stride right now, Coach. I'm picking uh, the G-Men to come out and take care of the thing. I do expect this to be a very competitive game, but uh, the Tigers will find a way to come out on top. Right, right. Okay, now, another big game that you've already mentioned. Southern is on the road at Alabama State. Even though this is a non-conference game, this is a big game. This is a yes. big game because now we will see if the media and the coaches were right in picking Southern as being the best team in the West. This game, I think, will really show whether or not they can stand up to that accolade, those accolades. Yes, I, sir. I've yes, got, sir. The game is in Montgomery, but I'm going to – I'm going to go with Southern. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I'm, I'm with you again, Coach. Um, I'm thinking uh should be a, a come-out, breakout year for Southern University, even though uh, they had a decent season last year. It still uh, was a season of disappointment when you talk to some of the uh, Jag Nation. And uh, I think dude is going to come out with a purpose. And uh, the Jags will win this game. And I'll... Yeah, to say, Coach, they'll win by three. Okay, okay. We're good with that. All right, next up on the agenda, Alcorn State going down to Southern Miss, 6 p.m. game. Uh, I don't think the Braves – I think the Braves will be uh, – this will be a competitive game, but I'm going to have to go with the home team. I'm going to have to go with Southern Miss on this one. Well, if they say, Coach, it's a little game you play, uh, get like me, and I'm right there with you, sir. I got Southern Miss with this one. I'm trying to see, uh, are we looking at the cheat sheets or something, Coach? Or what's going on? <laughs> uh, but, hey, uh, some of this is no brainer. Right, uh, right, right. Hey, hey, put that pride in your back pocket. I got yeah. a trophy to get, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
Let's step on the agenda. We got Bethune Cookman traveling up to Memphis to take on the uh, the Memphis Tigers. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with. Uh, they got a new coach down there, Bethune Cookman. Uh, but I'm gonna have to go with Memphis. Yeah, Woody gonna have to wait. Yeah, uh, M- M- Memphis uh, will take care of uh, the Wildcats. But uh, it's good to see that that life that is buzzing on that Bethune Cookman campus, though. Oh yes. Oh, yes, yes. And he did a great interview, so I'm looking forward to watching him this year. All mm-hmm. right, next up, we got my Bulldogs traveling up to Vanderbilt, uh, take on the Vanderbilt Commodores. Easy trip for our fans. Our fans are accustomed to going to Nashville uh, because of Tennessee State. So there'll be a lot of maroon and white in the stands, but going home is going to be a longer trip. Uh, for my bulldog, <laughs> I might have to go. I might have to go with Vanderbilt on this one. My heart is with the Bulldogs, but uh, my mind is, says that Vanderbilt will win this game. Now, Coach, you know when the Bulldogs hear this, they're gonna scream blasphemy, right? <laughs> and I don't want you to have to get no uh, no bodyguards with you, Coach, for when you're walking through the city limits of Huntsville. But I am in agreement with you. Um, although Vanderbilt is the, the welcome mat and the whipping post for the SEC, they are still an SEC program with SEC money and, and SEC scholarships. Oh, so yeah. um, I think Vanderbilt, well, like we said, let that check clear and all is well. Yep, yep, yep. All right, then we're going we're gonna to go to Houston, come out there to Houston, and uh, your Panthers are going into the city to take on them city boys, Texas Southern. I really think that your your Panthers are going to be ready, so I'm going with PV on this one. Yeah, I got to stick with the purple and gold, um, but I do have some concerns, but it's not enough to make me waver. I am sticking with my Panthers from start to finish, so the Panthers will win this game. Okay, okay. And then on Sunday, Jackson State. If they can get this game off, because right now either, uh, the hurricane is, is, is bashing Florida right now. Yes, it is. On, on, uh, so our thoughts and prayers are, are with the people of Florida. Uh, but uh, if, they, if the game goes off, Jackson State is at Florida in them, 2 p.m., ESPN, all the hoopla. I am going with Jackson State. Ah, and here's where the divide comes. Yep. I'm picking FAMU, and I hadn't heard, as we're making this uh, recording, if there's an alternative of playing this game elsewhere, or would they uh, postpone it due to the fact that, well, no, that would be a conference game. Yeah. Um, so I, 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 I'm pretty sure they got a plan B. But whatever, is, it even gets down to plan Z, I think Sam U is going to uh, find a way to win. Although Jackson is coming off a very impressive win over uh, South Carolina State, um, I, I, I think that it's going to be a stiffer uh, challenge for Jackson to get over that hump. And I think the Rattlers will strike, strike, and strike again for the win. I got you. I got you. So we. So so there's the divide. Uh, mm-hmm. that, that'll that be the game that will determine uh, who is going to be the big dog in the swag because I think on, on the, uh, the East they do have Florida in them uh, looking pretty good as the number one seed but Jackson State saying that you all have disrespected us we are the defending champs and yes, how sir. dare you yes, how dare you pick somebody in front of us with the old Under Armour commercial, we must protect this house? Yes. Okay, okay. Well, uh, well. as we say, Coach, the, the talking's over with. Oh, yeah. The talking's over with. Ain't, ain't no sense of putting a, 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 with the with a stick on your shoulder and dancing. I didn't knock it off. Then the cross the line. The line's going to be crossed and sticks are going to be knocked off. And somebody is going to take an L when the dust settles. And um, I hate to uh, say this and do this to you, Coach, but uh, welcome to your first week loss, sir. That's all I'm saying. 
but, 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 to your I, first week now. But but I thought I but but I thought I'm I'm already one in the hole because you know you you picked South Carolina State because you thought Buddy Pugh and the, the Miac was uh had a, had a, a stranglehold on the swag. And well, we I, do when it count. They do when it counts. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's that's true. That's true. I yeah, that. you know. And, and but and now I will give credit to Jackson. Now, um, I thought with everything, and you know, I, what to me was shot it all in the foot for me when they came out and called him soft. I said, well, I can't recant on the pick now. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I, I could have jumped through this. Club. What? What? You, what? <laughs> you know, but it, it is what it is. You know, as my boy, boy, just keep your mouth closed. Folks don't have to know how dumb you are. Just stay quiet. You ain't got yeah. to just stay quiet. But it, 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 I was like, ah, you know. So, and of course, you know, Jackson State, uh, some of their fans, and they corrected me. It's not JSU. V I love is V I love JSU. I said, okay, whatever. You know, you, you love JSU. Just like I love PVU. And what do you think? What you got to say now? I kind of gave y'all this one to begin with. You know, I said, if you're going to win out of that first four weeks, this is it. But the rubber going to meet the road now. And I'm not a JSU hater. I'm just a, a, a logical thinking yep. man. Yep. Yeah, I'm a logical thinking man, you know. But it should be a very good game. And if the truth be told, it is more pressure. I won't say a hot seat, but it's more pressure on Coach Simmons than it is on T.C. Taylor. Correct. Correct. I agree. You know, so so the Rattlers are going to have to come out striking and striking and striking again uh, just to get uh, a breezeway from uh, the uh, uh, Rattler Nation. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking okay. forward to it. And I'm like I said, I, we want the Floridians to be safe first and most importantly. And um, that they are able to get this thing off, and that it's a very entertaining and competitive game. That's all we can ask for, folks. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You're absolutely correct. That's all we can ask for. Yep. Yes, sir. Well, uh, we we got this first round under our belt, and um, uh, I'm feeling pretty good, Coach. I'm I'm looking forward to the season. I'm looking forward to this season. Yes, sir. And, and, and 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 I'm correcting you just slightly. That was week zero. Okay. So I, I, I said, so you, you got week zero. Right? You got that. Okay. Uh, but okay. I said I said welcome to week one, mm. y'all, so we can even the weeks out. So we can okay. even the weeks out. You, you, you got me. You got me. You got me. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can hear you now. All right, young boy. All right, young boy. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's all good. Hey, this is so much fun, Coach, and I enjoy every opportunity we get to do this, man. It's uh, something, and I'm trying. I've lost count, Coach, how long we've been doing this, but as my, my, my grandma used to say, getting good and good at each round. Oh, good yes. and good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. I look forward well, to it. Yes, sir. Well, Coach, you know it's time for me to give you some of them final thoughts and drop us up with some of these nuggets this week, sir. Well, I, I think uh, the – when you listen to the coaches, they're all saying the same thing. They're tired mm-hmm. of hitting each other. They're looking forward to – the players are looking forward to hitting somebody with a different color jersey on. So mm-hmm. I expect uh, this to be an exciting week for all of our SWAC schools. Uh, the, the kids have put in the work during the summer, during the dog days of August, and now they're ready to show the fruits of their labor. So I look forward to this season. I look forward to uh, having these conversations with you on a weekly basis. And let's just see where it goes. And I, 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 I love the way our teams are competing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, there's nothing wrong with some good old competition, man. It just brings out the best. And sometimes it brings out the worst in us. But competition and what I love about sports, Coach, is to me, it is the purest or one of the purest conversation pieces that you can have with a person regardless of their ethnic background, regardless of their social status, financial status, educational status. Uh, You root for your team, I root for my team, or we root for our teams together. And for at least two and a half, three hours, 
on weekends, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. It brings a piece of harmony throughout the land. And um, no other way that I could think of other than the word that can bring people together. Oh, yes. Well, sir, um, welcome to week one loss. And um, I do appreciate you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the Google Coach Van Petterway, and I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Don't forget, you can follow me on X. You know, they changed that thing, Coach, from Twitter to X. Yeah. And I've been so confused, man, since they've been doing it. I've been still saying Twitter. I call it Twitter, X, X, Twitter. But X marks the spot. But you can follow me on X at the Mike Prince Show. Subscribe to the YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And don't forget, September 1st through the 4th, is our popcorn fundraiser. So go to the website, ovnradio.com, hit that pop-up store, purchase some popcorn, which will help us continue to provide these game covers throughout the country for our beloved Southwestern Athletic Conference, and more importantly, the Prairie View A&M University Panthers. So until the next time, you guys be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side.